All right, I wanted to make this walk around video of this extremely cool, extremely rare 1989 Toyota pickup custom cab. Now, if you're not familiar with these custom cab conversions, they were done as an option that Toyota gave starting in 1976. So 1976, you can go to Toyota, buy a truck, regular or standard cab, and have this conversion made so you have a little extra room in the cabin. What they do is they put on this fiberglass shell, they cut off the rear, and they extend the frame. And that company was Custom Fab, or Custom Fab MFG. So they started to go out of business in 1988 and 1989 or 0.5 when they introduced this third generation or sixth generation body style uh classically known as you know the 90s pickup body style they went out of business so they stopped doing these conversions on the trucks you'll only ever see them on 80s pickups and 70s pickups. So it was thought to believe, or it was uh, believed that none of these were ever made. So this is thought to be the only one in existence. So it's an extremely rare, extremely cool truck, and it makes sense because of the VIN, it was produced in 02 of 89. So this is right when they were going out of business and it looks like one of these slipped through and was customized by them. So there are, you know, a lot of accessories from the old owner that bought this truck and added Things like that and things like these gigantic side steps, light bar, front grille, all of that will be removed. So it's a very standard interior, no power windows, no power locks, although an aftermarket system has been added by the previous owner, no tack. No clock, but it does have AC, manual transmission, cloth seats. This is what the rear looks like. The headliner has been reupholstered and is missing little things like the armrests that originally came on that factory roll bar by Custom Fab. And I believe they were Custom Fab MFG, if I'm not mistaken. But yes, yeah, super standard truck. Manual hub locks. This has the 3.0. Let me set you down for a sec. So the 3VZFE 3.0 engine, these things do run forever if you, if you maintain them. You know, really, the big wrap that these motors got was for head gasket issues, but that was strictly due to the way that they routed the crossover pipe for the dump. So if you wanted to put headers on this, it would kind of eliminate that issue and run them back out and tie them behind the transmission but they are very slow motors they do not make a lot of power and they're kind of a nightmare to work on with all of these vacuum lines that you're chasing leaks but yes it does run it does drive although it needs 
a new uh, fan blade because this one is bent for some reason. So it wobbles when it runs. Let me start it up for you. So as you saw, none of the pulleys, nothing's bent in here. It's just really this shaking everything. It really needs to be replaced. But other than that, it runs, drives, shifts very smoothly. That R150F that is in there has no issues. Take you underneath. There's no rust. This is where they extended that tunnel. This is factory, factory, but that's how they did it. They extended the frame right here. They chopped it, put on this giant extension piece, and welded in right here. This is all factory from 1989, the way they did it. Put in a drive shaft support. Very little leaks. It is a little wet in some spots, but that's just a pin and seal. Maybe some crush washers on the drain and fill. Under here, again, another pinion seal. CVs are good. Transmission doesn't appear to be leaking. It really looks like that pinion seal has just been flinging gear oil for who knows how long. So it it builds up <laughs> a nice red skid plate and power steering pump leaks a little bit. But what can you expect? You can't expect it all to be perfect from a over 30 year old truck that has probably had very little love. The body has been repainted. It used to be, uh, I believe the actual tag says it used to be a dark gray. It was painted black and then painted red by the previous owner. It does need a lot of body work on the fiberglass extension piece. But overall, there's no rust. Just needs a little bit of love. So the main goal with this thing is to find it a home where somebody has the means to preserve this and either restore it or just fix it, love it, drive it. But I cannot keep this right now, so I need to find it a home. And if anybody is interested, please contact me. I will put my email address below. It is a very, very cool one-of-a-kind piece. One-of-a-kind truck. Like I said, this is a one-of-one one Toyota Custom Cab. The only one known to exist. And it's 4x4 with a manual transmission. 
perfect for a swap. Put a 3-4 in here. This thing's golden. A little bit of paint work, respray, respray the truck, do some body work. This thing will look incredible. But if you're interested, please contact my uh, email below and let me know what you're thinking. All right, that'll be it. This is the 1989 Toyota Custom Cab. One of one.